In this problem, we're being asked to find both the x and the y-intercepts of a polynomial function. And if it's a function, it's only going to have one y-intercept, because a function can't have the same um, x value for two different y values. So that makes only one y-intercept possible. And the y-intercept is where x equals 0. So to find the y-intercept, we just put in 0 for x. And this makes this function pretty easy. Um, 2 times 0 minus 15 times 0 plus 18 is just going to be 18. So the y-intercept is 18. All right. So let's talk about the x-intercepts. Uh, these are the places where um, the function itself is 0, where y equals 0. This is also known as the zeros of the function. So you've probably had some experience finding these already. And depending on how complex your function is, there can be quite a few uh, x-intercepts. In this case, we have a quadratic, so we would expect there to be 2. Maybe 1, maybe 0, but um, probably 2. So we can solve this, we can uh, set the function equal to 0 and then factor it and set the factors equal to 0. So just the way you would find the zeros of a function. So in this case, let's see, let's try to factor this. We've got a leading coefficient that's not 1, but um, we've got only one possibility here. One of them has to be 2x and the other has to be x. We've got a positive value here and a negative value here, which means both of these are negative because it's got to multiply out to be a positive but add up to a negative. And then for our factors of 18, well, 1 and 18, and 2 and 9, and 3 and 6. And we want this to add up to negative 15. Ah, well, if I multiplied the 6 by 2, I'd get 12. And if I added 3, I get 15. So I could put a 6 here and a 3 here. I think that works. Yeah. OK. If you don't trust me, foil that out. See if you get this. Now let's set each each of these equal to 0. So 2x minus 3 equals 0. And then we'll add 3. So we get 2x equals 3. And then divide by 2. So we get x equals 3 halves for one of them. And the other one is x minus 6 equals 0. I'm just going to do that in my head. We get a positive 6 for the other x-intercept. So that is how to find the y and the x-intercepts of a polynomial function.